ACAD 292. Um, in chapter 20, you're going to be doing electrical and electronic drafting. Uh, you're going to be doing some ladder logic and some schematics, some electrical schematics. So I'm going to show you how to actually use AutoCAD electrical to do your ladder logic and some other of your uh, electrical schematics. So first of all, uh, you're going to need to download AutoCAD Electrical from the Autodesk uh, students website. Uh, of course, just go to Autodesk students, all right, and uh, free software. You should already be registered, but if you're not, uh, when you hit the sign in, uh, it'll give you that option to register. You'll notice AutoCAD Electrical about midways down on the A side. All right, so you just click on it. Uh, make sure you sign in. Choose your uh, operating system. Uh, go ahead and just download Electrical 15 for now. Uh, I don't have much training on 16, and I don't know how much has changed on 16. Okay, so that's what you need to do to get your electrical going. Uh, once you get it going, uh, let's look at Chapter 20. Just click on it. I'm going to put this video inside of Teaching Aids. I'm also going to send you an announcement with this video. Uh, so in your assignments, you're going to have uh, approximately 20, uh, you only got six drawings. Uh, most of these can be done using just simple lo uh, ladder logic. So let's go to our AutoCAD Electrical. All right, AutoCAD Electrical is based on projects, uh, although for this demonstration, I'm not going to create a project. If you guys ever want to see tutorials, you can go to create here. I'm excuse me. I'm sorry. Go to learn, and inside of learn, you'll have an overview working with projects, schematic one, schematic two. These are nice tutorials if you want to uh, skip my video maybe and understand how to do PLCs and the schematics, uh, your panel layout, uh, reports, of course, uh, for uh, pricing and and bill of material on all your electrical components. Uh, so this video is just a fundamental video to show you how to do uh, simple ladder logic and electrical schematics. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to start a drawing. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that it's set up a lot like AutoCAD's already set up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you uh, how to do a simple ladder logic. Notice that home is just the same as it is with your regular AutoCAD. But what changes is when you go to project, uh, schematic, panel, reports, uh, and your import data, all this uh, from here over should be the same. But these three right here, uh, we're going we're gonna to focus on. So let's go to our schematic. And inside a schematic, uh, inside your insert wire and wire numbers, let's click on insert ladder. Let's go ahead and say OK here. Now, you can actually uh, control the width. Uh, we're going to make this ladder 8.5 wide. You may have a lot of components that need to go on a run. Uh, your spacing between runs are your horizontal lines. We're going to make this 1.25. Put a nice spacing between it. And uh, I like to start my first reference at 1, uh, index at 1. Uh, this is always going to be a phase 1. And this is if you don't want runs or if you don't want buses. But we're going to hit OK. And we're going to take our mouse, left click somewhere, and scroll down to make as many runs as you want. OK, if you feel like this is too many runs, you can always go right here to uh, Add Run or Revise Your Ladder. So you can revise your ladder. Uh, this helps you say I only want five runs for this one. Hit OK. And basically, it changes it to five runs. Um, all right, so here's a run. So this is typically, this is a wire, all right, that runs from your power to out. All right, this is your in, your line in. This is where your electrical is coming in. And most of the time, you're going to start out with a push button. So let's go find our symbols. Inside of Icon Menu, go, go to Icon Menu. Here is all your symbols, push buttons, selectors, fuses, relays, timers, motor controls, pilot lights, pilot lights, excuse me, and so on and so on and so on. So let's just build a simple light. Uh, uh, let's just build a simple light with a relay and a push button normally open. So we're going to go to push button. 
and we're going to do a normally open push button and we're going to click on this line and notice how it just automatically puts it in there okay it says PB1 you can name it whatever tag you want uh, just name it I'm gonna leave it PB1 you can also put a line on here that says uh, normally closed NC uh, push button Uh, notice you can actually look up too if you want to look up a manufacturer. Uh, Allen Bradley makes all of these push buttons, uh, and this is their catalog name, uh, short description. So if you want a particular push button, say a BR uh, 6B, just hit OK and hit OK, uh, and it brings it in there. So this would show up on a report, okay, if you had to do a report. So I'm going to hit OK. Notice that it, all the annotations uh, appeared there. Now, if you ever want to modify it, you can double click on it and it'll bring up an attribute box. Uh, say I don't want that normally closed, push, but I want it to be something else. Just hit OK. Say I don't want the, the tag, I can take that off too and hit delete and OK. Now, all I'm left with is a push button. All right, so let's go ahead and add a relay. Uh, let's put a normally open contact relay. We're going to put it right here. Notice how it broke it. Uh, you can add descriptions. You can go find a drawing if you have it. Hit OK. Uh, now let's put a limit switch. I'm going to put a limit switch on here. Uh, let's go selector switches. Uh, I'm going to go to limit switch down here. I'm going to go to normally close limit switch. I'm going to put it right here. Notice how it breaks it. Again, there's your tag. There's your description. You can look up a manufacturer you want to. And all of this is just going to control light. So let's go find us a light. Uh, well, let's put a timer on there. We're going to put a timer here. And then we're going to put a light. Uh, let's go find our lights. Uh, lights. We're going to do a red. I'll put it right here. And OK. All right. So there's my first line. Uh, basically, it's a push button. I push it down. Uh, it it uh, goes through my relay onto a limit switch into a delay that controls a light. All right, notice my normally close and normally open option. Again, you can click on this to get rid of that tag. I'm going to delete that tag. And I'm also going to delete. I'm also going to delete this tag. Uh, and hit OK. Well, I thought I was. Let's go delete. OK. Now, say I. I uh, Let's go ahead and build another line. Let's go ahead and make a wire. We're going to build a wire from here to here. Okay, and in this wire, I'm going to put a relay. Uh, we'll go normally close relay. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, notice how it already inserted it. All right, so now uh, I've hit this button. It goes down to here. This is normally closed. So it's going to go through my normally open, through my limit switch, to a delay, and then to my light. All right, say I want to add uh, on my next line, I want to add a trance, I want to add a push button. Uh, let's do a selector switch, normally open. I'm going to put it right, I'm going to put it to this side, and hit OK. Uh, and now I'm going to put a transformer. Let's put a nice little transformer in here. Let's see where is that guy at. There's my solenoids. Uh, there's a transformer. Mm, that's not really the one I want. Uh, we're going to actually put a motor control. Let's go here. Here's a nice transformer. I'm going to put it right here on this line. All right, notice that I still have two terminals here. If I wanted to add a wire, I could add a wire. I'm going to click on to here. Uh, let's go ahead and use my center and I'm going to bring it over to this line right here. Notice how it put my, it made, made a basically another uh, run there for me. And if I ever want to uh, edit my wire numbers, uh, I can say uh, sequential. Uh, we're going to start at one. We're going to pick individual lines. I'm going to say that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. Normally, you would be numbering your. See how they numbered? Uh, didn't put one in there for some reason. Normally, you would be numbering your wires so you know how long they are. 
Uh, okay, so I need to put another line to this transformer, so I'm going to go to wire. And I'm going to start from the center. Uh, and I'm going to run it from here to oh, yeah. here. Maybe. Go here to... I'm going to go up right here. Okay. And anytime you need to break a line, uh, you can go here... Uh, you can break a line, you can add a line, here's your wired numbers, uh, again, here's your ladder logic, uh, here's two uh, ladder leads, uh, cables, uh, edit wire number, trim wire, say I wanted to trim this wire right here and here, and go ahead and I want to add a wire then from here to here. Uh, so that's basically creating, uh, you know, again, you can look at your tutorials if you want to. Uh, then when you get done with this ladder, uh, this is basically a circuit across here. I got a transformer. This is normally closed, so it's going to come here, and if that's not open, it's going to go back through this line. And you can continue down through here, adding, of course, you add it from your icon menu. Uh, and then I think you guys may have some panels. All right, when you get to panel, uh, you also have the ability to go to a panel. Uh, this is panel layouts. All right, the different components. Uh, there's your enclosure. Uh, we're not going to go through that right now, but I think you do have a panel drawing that you're going to do. Okay, so this is uh, electrical drawings, uh, kind of 101, doing a basic uh, ladder logic uh, schematic. Any questions, let me know. God bless you guys. Have a great day and let's have a good class.